Okay. Welcome, guys, to a video with me, the Stonk Dad. Uh, it's the weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying football. Uh, I'm, it's actually halftime right now for the Bucks and the Eagles game, so I thought I'd record a quick video and then upload it while I'm watching it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had an awesome long weekend with MLK Day, MLK Day and uh, you had fun with your family and friends. Um, but it's that time again. We got to get all ready for this week. So um, yeah, this is going to be another back test video of the convergence tool from last week's data. Um, it did pretty well, so I'm excited for this video to see how well it performed. Um, if it got over that 80% win rate that we always look for on this tool. Um, and as always, if you guys have no idea what the market flow tool is or the uh, convergence indicator, um, I have plenty and plenty of videos explaining that. But I, of course, will briefly go over that so all of you newbies have an idea of what I'm looking at. Okay, so let's head on over to the charts. Okay, so right here we have Friday's flow, I think. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This was 1226 I was looking at past days so let's uh let's pull this up here so let's go to january 8th because we had a full week of of data right so let's take a screenshot of this january 8th was our first um day of the week last week let's bring this over here excuse me Okay, so just a little backstory of um, what convergence is and what we're kind of looking at here on uh, these videos that I do every single week. So every single Sunday or Monday, uh, it depends on what um, I'm doing, um, but mostly on Sundays, I do a back test of the uh, market flow data that comes in every single day of the week prior. And then I uh, look at the convergence bars down here at the bottom, which indicates strength of price action relative to the flow data. So in this case, you can see that we had a lot of green. This is probably a bad example because you don't see the grays and stuff, um, but you will on other ones. Um, but in this situation, you see that there's uh, a lot of green bars, which indicates that the um, price action is bullish and it is going with the flow, so it is green. Now, on the contrary, if it is red, um, the put line would be above the green line. Um, the put, the red line are puts, and then the green line are uh, calls. So. Um, yeah, so in this situation, you see that we had green convergence all day long, which indicates a very strong bullish trend. Um, and then you'll see in, in other ones some gray uh, convergence as well. Um, but for the back test video, what we do is we see when the convergence flips and uh, if the price moves with the convergence flip upwards of 50 cents or more, we will count that as one that as a win um, for the back test video. And then on the contrary, if it moves down 50 cents on a uh, spy, we look at the, the price of spy here. Uh, then we will count, count that one as a loss. And then if it's kind of neck and neck um, and it flips uh, roughly around where you would enter and it flipped back gray, then we would just wash that trade altogether. It would be a break even trade. So uh, if that didn't make any sense to you, um, follow along it will make sense as i move on with this video okay so um today or sorry monday was a very very crazy day because we didn't get any flips whatsoever on convergence we didn't get any pullbacks we got nothing what we got was a strong bullish trend to the upside and convergence was green the entire day so that is just one singular win um, you could have gotten in on any of these pullbacks um, the flow was bullish the entire day puts actually did sell off around halfway mark and you can see that it might have flipped uh, gray it looks like because we got that little green dot now it's kind of bugged sometimes so uh, take it as I will. So maybe we will count that one as the second win. We got a small pullback from 471 to about 470, which is pretty much the only thing you could have ever asked for for a day like this, especially with how bullish flow was. So in this uh, situation here, we might count this one as a separate trade than this one in the morning because it did indicate here that it may have flipped gray for a couple minutes or so and then it flipped green. So we'll count that one as a win too, so two for two. Monday was a crazy, crazy day for convergence. It was just straight up, um, really, really good. So let me document this here. And then uh, for this next chart, you guys will understand what I mean here. So the ninth, which was my birthday, 9th of January. It was a little bit rough, it looks like. 
Um, but we did get some bullish flow uh, later on in the day after the morning chop. Um, you could see that it, it did go red, it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell here because <clears throat> it's so small, but I think it did go red here. And it did look like it went down about 50 cents or so. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, so we might just watch that trade, just not count that one as all, at all. Um, because flow is really, really close together. And what I normally look for is uh, the divergence between calls and puts, whether it be uh, puts on top or calls on top. Um, and this is something that I look for here, the big gap. Um, so we won't count that one, but we will count this, this one here. So it looks like it flipped bullish there around there and you could have caught a very nice move to the upside um, about two two and a half dollars or so for that upside move which was a huge dub and then it looks like it did flip gray and then it uh it tanked here so we'll have to count that one as a loss um just by just because it flipped gray for like one minute um and it did tank there but then it got you out pretty quick on a stop loss um on the gray convergence there and it looks like it did flip red when the flow flipped bearish at the end of the day. Roughly around this area. Um, not quite at the top, but pretty close. And that one caught a nice little downward move there. That was easily 50 cents move to the downside there. So it looks like two wins and one loss on Tuesday. Two for three. Okay, I think there was one day this week that was kind of rough. Uh, I don't remember what day it was. It might have been this one. Wednesday or Thursday, I think, was the rough day for convergence. Okay, <clears throat> so right here we did catch um, a... Ooh, gosh, terrible line. I should be using rulers, but it takes a little bit too long. But you can clearly see that it indicated right there. We caught a nice downward move there to the downside about um, 75 cents or so. So we will count that one as a win. And then I don't see... It. It was gray for most of the day up until about here. It looks like it turned green um, around there. And you could have caught a very nice trade um, right there. That was easily 50 cents. And then it looks like it turned red right after that. <laughs> kind of like there. Um, that one probably is just a wash because it, it did stop you out on the gray convergence flip right here. Um, it didn't really notify it, but it was around the same um, entry price there. Um, and then it caught a, this was your short entry, the very nice short entry to the downside here. That one went from about two, or sorry, 476.50 all the way down to 475.50. So that was a very nice win there. And it looks like three wins and no losses. Pretty good for a choppy flow day like this day. Um, so pay attention close to convergence on those choppy days because it can keep you out of uh, bad trades. So I went three for three there on convergence flips. Oops, my bad. And then let's see, Thursday. Ooh, Thursday was a good day actually because there was a strong move down and then there was a strong move up and convergence caught the entire thing. Look at where, <laughs> look at where this flipped. It's amazing. So it flipped um, around there, not quite the top, but pretty close after it rejected 478. Um, it caught a move from about 477.50 all the way down to about 478.50. So <laughs> that's a $5 move to the downside that just convergence caught on that morning um, flip there, which is crazy to me. So that was a huge dub, probably the best dub of the week. And then uh, Great Convergence did a very good job at catching the trend back up. Um, it looks like it did flip red here uh, and then gray immediately after. So that one's probably just going to be a wash trade because, I mean, it got you out on gray convergence shortly after that. Um, so that one went one for one. So just one trade, it looks like, on the red flip there, which is awesome. And then Friday... Friday. Okay, so I remember Friday because Friday was actually a trade that I got into because flow was so bullish. I got into a convergence flip here actually, and I did end up making about five six percent on that. Um, and luckily, my stop loss was um, 
was pretty quick, so I was able to be green on that trade, even though it was only up about 5% or so. Um, this gray convergence and how weak convergence convergence was at the time caught me uh, off guard, in which I that's when I trimmed most of my contracts. Uh, and luckily it did recover a little bit when that flipped, and that's kind of when I got out. Um, so these two were kind of rough. We're going to count this one as a win. Strictly because it did go up about 50 cents, 30 to 50 cents or so, and I did get in, into that trade specifically. Now, this one was going to be the loss, especially if you got if you waited for the gray to green. That one was going to be your loss there. And then this one, this one looks like it did flip, but it kind of just chopped you out. So um, that one's going to be a wash. You got it. It exited you out on the gray convergence shortly after that flipped um, but this was the bigger one in which I was looking for earlier um, usually the morning moves happen uh, those morning moves happen earlier not during lunchtime so it was kind of odd to me that we got that huge uptrend during the middle of the day and this was kind of the move that I was waiting for when I got into that trade which is okay it happens um, but that clear as day is the big winner of Friday. Um, so that one went two for three on uh, convergence flips on Friday. So not too many um, trades as far as convergence flips um, from last week. There were uh, only a couple a day it seemed like. So let's tally them all up here. So we had a total of three, four, seven, ten, twelve trades and only one two losers so 12 right i said 12 three four seven yeah 12 and two losers so it went 10 for 12 which is not terrible 10 divided by 12 is that 80 nice all right we hit the i know it's flipped for you guys but we hit 83 percent win rate on the convergence tool uh, last week, which is awesome, we finally hit over that 80% win rate. Um, after a few weeks of being slightly under 80%, which is about 78 or uh, 75 ish percent win rate, but 83% awesome, awesome week. Uh, I hope the momentum keeps up with this. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it below like 50. 58% win rate. Um, so we're going to keep up the momentum here. Uh, trade when there's a big divergence between the flows because there's a greater uh, chance of it going in your favor. Um, that's usually the trades that I look for. The greater di the divergence, the uh, more confident I am in that move. So I'm just rambling here, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I do enjoy doing those backtest videos because it keeps me on my toes. Um, with everything going on in the market, it keeps me um, up to date on everything as far as data goes, and it keeps my strategy in check just to make sure that I'm on the right path uh, making money, <laughs> right, guys? That's the whole idea. So thanks for sticking around with me in this uh, short little video of the convergence back tests. Uh, let me know if you guys like these videos, if you want me to continue doing them. I'm pretty much on a routine doing these every single week um, and they do pretty well so I'd imagine that you guys like these um, these back test videos to see how um, the data is doing but yeah with that guys um, leave a like and if you're not subscribed 75% of you guys are not subscribed to me that are viewing my uh, videos so please please subscribe it helps me out tremendously um, yeah leave a like comment I love you all I will see you in the next one